Members of the St. Andrews Place neighborhood came together today for a Stop the Violence rally to remember the 15 year old girl who lost her life as a result of a shooting that happened Saturday night. Now, members of the community and the mother of the young girl say they just want answers. TT was the life of the party. She was a good girl. She was a homebody. She didn't bother nobody. My, my baby did was walk down the street with her phone and her and her earplugs. That's all she did. Marcia Kaling, the mother of 15 year old Tiana Coburn, also known as TT, doesn't know why anyone would commit such a senseless crime and shoot her daughter. I miss her. I'm, all I got is memories and pictures and videos. That's not fair. She wasn't ready. There's no way nobody saw nothing. Somebody saw something. Like, come, come forward. Just come forward. I just, I just, I just beg of you. Coburn's 17 year old brother was also shot Saturday night and is recovering in the hospital. He's doing fine. He, he should be coming home tomorrow. Keeling says her daughter, gone too soon, had big dreams of being a professional athlete. She wanted to be a basketball player. If she could play ball, and, yeah, NBA young boy, she play him wherever. Play that, you got her sold up. People throughout the community and family members left balloons and candles to remember TT. The Stop the Violence team is urging people to come together to avoid senseless crimes from happening. We're here to support the family. We're here to address the community to support the family, to help the family find out who did this and set that example in the community. Kingling says the pain she feels from her daughter's death is unbearable. Y'all took my baby. She's not going to go to prom. <laughs> I'm going to walk past her room and it's going to be empty. That's not fair. Like, why? What, what was your point? Norfolk police are still looking for a suspect in the shooting. Now, if you have any information, you are urged to call 188 Lock You Up. In Norfolk, Leandra Head, News 3.